We stand up. I have that camera with Gabe Rosado after. Good workout, man. How you feeling, man? I mean, uh, middle of camp. How's everything going so far? Yeah, man, feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't even feel like it's the middle of camp yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, we 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 uh we got like a long time ahead of us. We uh what is it? The 28th today, mm -hmm. yep. February. Yep. So um, get yeah, over a fights, month away. Yeah, the fight's April 4th. So yeah, man, you know we got a good rhythm going on. We're working on a lot of things, man. Just working hard, man. How do you train any different for this game? Because I know that the rounds are shorter, the fight's shorter. Do you train a little different as um, you would for a, a normal fight? I mean, slightly. I'm saying like you know. It's a seven round fight, so we really don't have to train, you know, 12 rounds mm -hmm. or anything like that. I'm saying um, we're going to pick up sparring on Monday. We're actually going to go to Robert uh, Gar Garcia's gym in oh, Oxnard. Nice. We'll be out there on Monday, man, and mix it up with some of his guys. So uh, that'll be my first uh, week of sparring coming up on Monday. How do you take sparring? Yeah, I always ask guys this. Do you, do you work with people? Do you try to show them whose balls go 100%? How do, how do you treat sparring sessions? You know, I actually... I actually don't even really uh, go hard in sparring. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I'm more of uh, working on things and mm -hmm. shit like that. But I think um, I think I'm gonna change that um, for this camp. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I think my mentality is gonna be a lot different into this camp. So um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna spar a lot harder um, and, uh, and kind of push it to the limit a little more in sparring. I'm saying I think if I take that attitude into the fight, you know, it it definitely pay off. Gabe, you know. We you fight fighter after fighter. I think for a while you fought like four or five hundred feet of fighters, yeah. man. You're not taking a break, man. Does it ever, like, Gabe, you ever want to take a break and take an easier fight because you're going up against Curtis Stevens, who's not considered an easy fight either? Um, I'm saying, you know, I don't know. It's just it's just how I'm built, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, uh, I like a challenge. You know, I like taking tough fights. You know, if you think about it, man, it's really what keeps me in the game is, um, it's why the fans still want to see me win, lose, or draw. Because I give the fans what they want. They want to see competition. They want to see good fights. They want to see competitive fights. You know. <clears throat> so I think that's why the fans. That's why I win the fans over. You know. Um, and um, you know that's just my mentality, man. Out of all the guys you fought, Gabe, who, who do you think was your toughest assignment up to this point in your career, and why? Um, you know, man, it's just. Uh, it's interesting because if you really think if you really think about it, man, um, I haven't really been in a fight where I'm just totally outclassed just mm -hmm. to be just, just for the just for the sake of it. You know I'm saying it's like um, you know a lot of times is um, I'm fighting through something, you know, I'm fighting through bad cuts, or I'm fighting through a, a broken orbital bone or something crazy yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying it's like you know if you look at my fight with Colin, uh, it was a fight I was winning and I get cut and. Um, you know, my last fight it was uh, a, a really bad injury that I suffered in my eye. I actually saw that fight. Yes, I, I think me and my trainer saw that fight like two days ago. Which it was one? My first time seeing it, the immune fight. Oh, okay. Right. It was my yeah. first time seeing it. Right. And um, you know, I was I was watching and I'm like, damn, I didn't even I didn't even show that that eye was was bothering me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, damn, how did I fight with that with that poker face? Like, mm -hmm. I really was surprised watching myself that I was able to go so many rounds and not show not show that I was actually, you know, there's actually the first time that the doctor tells me and he puts three fingers in my face, I told him two. And he looked at me like, and he goes like this and he puts the fingers closer to me and then I, and then I tell him three. Wow. But I got it wrong because I couldn't really see in that fight. I was really blind in that fight. And it was crazy. I was telling my trainer, I'm like, damn, man, I was literally blind, dude, and, and I'm not even showing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even showing that I'm fighting yeah. handicapped. And um, and I was actually doing good in certain rounds, you know? Um, even heard him in a few rounds, man. So, you know, I think that's why I'm, I'm, I keep confidence in myself because I always feel like, man, if, if, if I'm good, man, and I'm 100% in a fight, man, I feel like I could be any middleweight. Mm -hmm. You know, it just, for whatever reason, man, it just seems like this, uh, this eye gives me issues. But, you know, it's something that I don't think about going into a fight. Like, I'm not going into this fight saying, oh, man, I hope this fucking eye doesn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, I don't go into the fight with that mentality. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I went against Vera and I beat the shit out of Vera. And look, at how, and look how good I looked. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, thank God I didn't suffer no injuries in that fight, right? Yeah. So I think it goes to show what I, what I could bring to the table if, if God willing everything comes out cool, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm going into this fight with that mentality. Everything's going to be good and I'm going to come out uh, winning.